Equipped with enough firepower to destroy a stronghold or a town in just a few minutes, along with incredibly high speed and maneuverability across various terrains and in harsh weather conditions. Yes, military knowledge is talking about nothing other than the state-of-the-art self-propelled howitzers, the type of weaponry that any modern army desires and needs to possess. In today's video, we invite you to join us as we introduce the top four self-propelled howitzers considered the most powerful in the world at the current time. Before we embark on today's journey, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Military Knowledge Channel because your support is the greatest motivation for the entire team. And now, let's get to the main content. The first name we want to introduce to you is a weapon currently used by the Ukrainian military in the war against Russia to deliver powerful punches to enemy targets, and that is the Emperor of the Panzerhaubitze 2000 self-propelled artillery abbreviated as PGE 2000, developed by Krauss Maffei Wegmann, KMW, and Rheinmetall of Germany in the 1980s and 1990s. This self-propelled howitzer is equipped with a rifled L52 barrel, caliber 155 mm, 8 meters long, fully chrome-plated, and fitted with a muzzle brake. Mounted on a stable firing platform and with a highly accurate gun layout system, the PZH 2000 meets the requirements for effective firing range at all angles comprehensively. The L-52 gun of the PZH 2000 is compatible with all standard NATO 155mm ammunition and can achieve maximum firing ranges of 30 and 40 km respectively for fragmentation and standard high explosive rounds. Additionally, the PZH 2000 can also fire VLAP rocket-assisted projectiles from South Africa to engage targets up to 56 km away. In fact, in April 2006, a PERS 2000 fired this type of projectile as far as 60 kilometers. Another special type of ammunition that this self-propelled howitzer is capable of using is the Smart 155 guided artillery shell from Germany. These are long-range artillery shells with fire-and-forget capabilities, allowing for fully autonomous operation after being fired without the need for external intervention. Similar to modern missiles like the US A-19 Sidewinder or Russia's Vimpel R-77, they are often deployed to destroy enemy tanks and armoured vehicles. The Smart 155 shell has two submunitions, one equipped with an infrared sensor and the other with a radar sensor. When they reach the target area, these submunitions are ejected and activated to hover in the air for a period scanning for the target to destroy based on spiral patterns and enemy armor detection coordinates. The submunitions then detonate to form a high-velocity explosively formed penetrator and dive down to attack the enemy's turret, where there is relatively weak armor, to achieve maximum effectiveness. Additionally, in December 2013, the German military weapons manufacturer Rheinmetall AG completed compatibility testing of the M982 Excalibur artillery shell with the PZH 2000. You may not know, but this is a type of artillery shell designed to destroy high priority targets with almost absolute accuracy to avoid causing undue harm to allies or civilian forces. The reason Excalibur can do this is because it features a forward stabilizing fine design along with GPS and inertial guidance systems. The theoretical missed distance of these shells is only 5 meters. However, combat experience in Iraq has shown that 92% of Excalibur shells fall within 4 meters of the target. Because of this advantage, it is often used to provide fire support for allies at close distances ranging from 75 to 150 meters, or to eliminate targets that if conventional ammunition were used, could cause civilian casualties. With Rheinmetall's tests for the German military, 
they had the PZH 2000 Fire 10 Excalibur shells at distances ranging from 9 to 48 kilometers. As a result, the shells hit their targets within a 3 meter radius, with an average drift distance of 1 meter at a range of 48 kilometers. Along with its powerful destructive capabilities, the L-52 Howitzer is integrated with an automatic loading system, allowing the PIRS 2000 to achieve a maximum firing rate of nine rounds per minute and fire three rounds in 10 seconds. Moreover, the various modes of the PIRS 2000's automatic loading system, such as manual operation, maintain high firing rates of responsiveness. It also has the ability to fire multiple rounds with different trajectories simultaneously meaning it can shoot several shells with various paths to hit the same target simultaneously, causing significant damage in a short amount of time to neutralize the target. Additionally, not only fast and powerful, this artillery unit also has very high durability with a service life of up to 4,500 rounds fired. However, there is a rare case of a PAR 2000 in combat in Ukraine firing about 20,000 rounds without barrel replacement. One outstanding feature of the PZH 2000 is that it does not require adjustment based on tactical information like conventional artillery. Instead, its excellent accuracy allows it to fire to designated coordinates immediately without any adjustment. The PZH 1000 can also receive target data via information link networks with allies. Additionally, it automatically adjusts the gun barrel using fire control data. Besides the 155 minimum gun barrel, the PS2000 also has auxiliary weapons, including a 7.62 minute anti-aircraft machine gun mounted on the roof and a battery of four 766 millimeter smoke grenade launchers located in front of the gun turret. Not only possessing strong and accurate offensive capabilities, the German self-propelled artillery unit also has very good defensive systems. The armor is entirely made of welded steel, capable of withstanding 14.5 mm ammunition on the front, while the remaining armor parts are sufficient to protect the crew from small arms and artillery shell fragments. In case of necessity, engineers can also equip it with reactive armor. Additionally, the Persi H2000 is equipped with an automatic fire extinguishing system and protection against biological and nuclear weapons. Furthermore, the flexibility of the King of Artillery is remarkable. With the use of a chassis, with some components of the main battle tank Leopard 2, driven by tracked wheels giving it excellent mobility, equivalent to a medium-sized main battle tank. The Peugeot 2000 is also equipped with a diesel engine capable of generating 1,000 horsepower, combined with an automatic transmission with four forward gears and two reverse gears allowing it to travel at a maximum speed of 60 km to h with a range of 420 km. The vehicle can climb slopes up to 50 degrees, overcome vertical obstacles up to 1 meter high, and move on slopes of up to 25 degrees. Additionally, the PZH-2000 artillery unit is equipped with auxiliary power units to provide energy to all systems when the main engine is not operating. Next, Let's delve into another player that has seen action in Ukraine, much like the Pezi 2000. However, it's not an ally of the King of Artillery from Germany, but rather a counterpart on the opposite side of the battlefield. Allow me to introduce to you the 2S35 Qualitsia SV, the super self-propelled howitzer of the armed forces of the Russian Federation. The main firepower of the 2S35 Qualitsia comes from the 2A88 gun with a 152 meter caliber, capable of being compatible with various types of ammunition, such as standard shells, rocket-assisted projectiles, anti-tank cluster munitions, and jamming shells. Additionally, it can achieve a maximum firing range of 30 kilometers with standard shells and about 40 kilometers with rocket-assisted projectiles. Currently, Russian engineers are researching and developing a new long-range precision-guided munition for the 2S35, believed to be capable of engaging targets within a range of 70 kilometers, with very high accuracy. Furthermore, this super self-propelled howitzer also has the ability to fire laser-guided projectiles 
like the 30F39 Krasnopol, with a maximum firing range of 20 kilometers. In the initial phase of flight, these projectiles use inertial guidance to maintain their trajectory until the target is detected by laser designation equipment. Then, they switch to using an active LASA guidance system. This guidance mechanism allows the Krasnopol projectiles to be deployed in missions to eliminate high-priority targets with a basic hit probability of 70 to 80 percent. Therefore, their use helps reduce casualties among Allied forces and civilians. Additionally, the Krasnopol projectiles also prove to be quite effective in destroying moving targets as long as their speed does not exceed 36 km range. Not only that, the 2A88 gun is integrated with a pneumatic automatic loading system, allowing the 2S35 to achieve a firing rate of 8 rounds per minute. Especially, the modular design of the loading system provides the super self-propelled howitzer with the ability to select different types of shells and adjust the propellant charge used to fire each individual shell to meet the different requirements of missions. It is also believed to have the ability to fire multiple rounds with different trajectories. Moreover, unlike artillery from the UK or Germany, the 2S35 is a highly automated system with a unified digitalized command and control system capable of remotely operating the artillery turret. Along with that is the automatic target selection and engagement system. Additionally, to enhance the self-defense capability of the 2S35, the Russians have equipped it with a remotely controlled weapons station, consisting of a 12.7 mm heavy machine gun mounted on the top of the turret and three smoke grenade launchers mounted on both sides in front of the turret. Furthermore, the defensive system of the 2S35 super self-propelled howitzer is extremely robust, aiming to ensure the safety of the crew and protect the artillery from severe damage. Utilizing the chassis of the T-90 main battle tank and expected to be upgraded to the T-14 Armata in the future, the hull and turret of the 2S35 are entirely constructed from welded steel capable of withstanding small arms, fire, artillery shells, and mines. It is equipped with a system to protect against various types of bioradiation weapons and an automatic fire suppression system. The three-person crew, consisting of a driver, commander, and gunner, sits in a separate armored module at the front of the vehicle, with all the necessary support systems, including night vision, fire control computers, and a mission data display screen. With high mobility, this super self-propelled howitzer utilizes a turbocharged diesel engine with a power output of 1,000 horsepower, allowing it to reach a maximum speed of 60 kilometers h with an operational range of 500 kilometers, higher than its western counterpart, the Pazeo 2000. When it comes to self-propelled artillery, not only products from the West and Russia, like the PZH 2000 and 2S35, are considered formidable, but also the power of artillery from Asia cannot be underestimated. One of the prominent representatives from the East appearing on your screens today is the PLZ-52 from China. The PLZ-52 utilizes a 155 l 52 gun, compatible with all types of 155 meter ammunition from China. The firing range of the gun is 30 kilometers for fragmentation shells, 40 kilometers for extended range shells, and can reach up to 53 kilometers when firing rocket-assisted shells. Additionally, the PLZ-52 also has the capability to fire precision-guided munitions of China. For example, munitions produced based on licenses and technology from Russia's Krasnopol. Subsequently, China successfully developed its own precision-guided munitions, including the GP-100 V5B model with a range of 25 kilometers using a satellite-guided system similar to the M-2 Excalibur of the United States. Furthermore, China has publicly revealed the new GP-155G precision-guided anti-tank munition, which can carry two smart anti-tank sub-munitions with a range of 34 kilometers. Additionally, there is information indicating that this country is developing a 155 meters GPS-guided projectile with an enormous maximum range of up to 100 kilometers. Along with that, the L-52 gun 
is accompanied by an automatic loading system that enables it to achieve a maximum firing rate of up to 10 rounds per minute, the highest in today's list, and three rounds in 15 seconds. The PLZ-52 also has the capability to conduct simultaneous, multiple round impact fire missions, as it can fire up to four rounds to hit a single target at once, thereby causing extremely powerful damage to lock and destroy the target. Furthermore, the 150 manif millim PLZ-52 howitzer is equipped by engineers with a 12.7 millim machine gun mounted on the roof and four smoke grenade launchers to be installed on each side in front of the turret. To operate the PLZ-52's weapons, the crew will utilize an advanced digital fire control system capable of processing high-speed information and is considered to be able to operate persistently even when damaged in harsh battlefield conditions. Moreover, its fiber-optic gyro-based orientation system ensures proactive combat capability without the need for artillery reconnaissance unit support. Additionally, the integrated information technology on the PLZ-52's computer system has enhanced information sharing capabilities with allies as well as streamlined operations. Regarding the defensive system, the hull and turret of the PLZ-52 are entirely constructed from welded steel, helping to protect against small arms, fire and artillery shell fragments. Along with that is a standard automatic fire extinguishing system and protection against nuclear, biological and chemical weapons. Similarly to the German and Russian representatives, the Chinese howitzer is equipped with a 1,000 horsepower diesel engine integrated with an automatic transmission. Thus, the PLZ-52 can reach a maximum speed of up to 70 km h with a deployment radius of 600 km. Next on the list of the world's most powerful self-propelled howitzers today is another name from a country emerging as a new military force in Asia. That is the K-9 Thunder from South Korea. The main weapon of the K-9 Thunder is a 155mm calibre gun, similar to the PZH-2000 and PLZ-52 mentioned above, with the capability to accommodate all types of NATO standard 155mm ammunition. Its significant firing range is 30 km with standard shells and 40 km with rocket-assisted shells. Especially, South Korea's domestically produced K3-15 rocket-assisted shells, when fired from this howitzer, can send targets to eternal realms at a distance of about 56 km. Additionally, the K9 Thunder also boasts a firing rate of 6 rounds per minute and has the capability of conducting simultaneous multiple round impacts. It can fire three rounds in 15 seconds, each following a different trajectory to ensure all projectiles reach the target simultaneously. The sustained firing rate of this howitzer is two rounds per minute. Upon receiving a fire order, the K9 Thunder can commence firing at the target within 30 seconds when stationary and within 60 seconds while on the move. Furthermore, like the other models in this list, the Thunder from South Korea is equipped with auxiliary weapons including a heavy 12.7mm M2 machine gun mounted on the roof of the turret, used for self-defense or air defense missions. In addition to its formidable firepower, Thunder Warriors are also equipped with 19mm thick armor and a turret made entirely of welded steel with a maximum thickness of 19mm, providing protection for the crew against small arms and artillery shell fragments. Moreover, it possesses a system to defend against chemical, biological, and radiological weapons, a heating system, internal and external communication systems, along with a manual fire extinguishing system. Alongside, the azimuth positioning system, automatic fire control system, as well as the operation of the gun and turret, are facilitated by a German diesel engine, similar to that used on the PZH-2000, capable of generating 1,000 horsepower and integrated with an automatic transmission with four forward gears and two reverse gears. Consequently, the K9 Thunder can reach a maximum speed of 67 kilometers h with a cruising range of 360 kilometers. Furthermore, the mobility system of the K9 Thunder is an evolution of the propulsion system installed on the legendary M1 Abrams main battle tank of the United States. 
It is also equipped with a hydraulic suspension system that allows it to traverse slopes of up to 60 degrees and move on side, slopes of 30 degrees. So, you have now learned about the lineup of the four self-propelled howitzers, considered the best in the world at the current time. Audience, which name do you think would emerge victorious if they had to face each other head-on on the battlefield? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section to discuss with everyone. And now, goodbye for now, and see you in the next videos. Have a great day, everyone.